Sneeuwwissen. Good morning, Colonel, sir. Fan bright today. I hear down at the village, prices is picking up, and it's a big year for cotton. Shipman heroic, a charismatic superstar who leapt off the screen. Men wanted to be like him, and women wanted to be with him. But in real life, he was complicated, longing for recognition as both an actor and writer. Devilishly handsome and charming, he was a risk taker who flouted society's conventions and inevitably landed in trouble. For him, life was a series of adventures. Making movies was one. <laughs> This is Colonel Braxton Beauregard Berlicue the Fifth, adventurer, treasure hunter, swashbuckler extraordinaire, at your service, madam. Well, as you know, uh, we had the uh, assassination attempt on Donald Trump, former president, who's now running for office, and. Um, I was up there in Butler, Pennsylvania, of all places, and, um, well, there's been quite the controversy. I haven't seen anything like this since the JFK assassination back in 63, and I was around at that time. I was a, I was a junior colonel, I guess you could say, at that point, but nonetheless, um, this really amazed me. I was sitting here in the old manor house. I was watching the uh, you know the television uh, you know internet uh, television i should say and uh all of a sudden i hear a thump 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 and bang 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 whatever you want to call it and before you know it uh trump is on the on the floor there's a pile of people on him including three short women and one was cowering behind her which i'm going to do a video on on her uh, on the internet, that fat, short gal, they're calling her the, the FUPA special agent, secret service. But anyway, I just kind of wanted to uh, make some commentary on this uh, just horrendous, dastardly act. Uh, thank God they failed this little twerp. And uh, there's talk, just like there was in, in Dallas, that there were... It was at least a second shooter, and hell, I've heard speculation there was actually a third shooter here on, on this Trump situation. But I, there's just been tons and tons of videos on this topic, and um, I myself, I, I I've been watching a lot of them, and uh, it's fascinating to learn all the facts. And um, uh, I, I personally think. The boy was set up. It was an ambush in Butler, just like it was in, in Dealey Plaza in Dallas back way back in the day. Uh, but uh, I thought what I'd do, kind of cut through the noise, I thought I would uh, critique a uh, Mark Dice video. He has done a couple on them, and I find uh, Mark uh, gives a lot of concise, accurate information with a nice dash of humor. I do like the boys' videos, and I thought the, his latest one on this, where we have a little more detail on the situation, that uh, uh, that would be something that, uh, that certainly uh, would be good to review. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna watch that their video. Oh, I lost my screen there, boy. Bear with me. Bear with me, boy. So anyway, I had to go get myself a, a drink there. So anyway, so I'm going to start the video here. I kind of, his preliminaries had like that the, the, the Democrats and the, and the mainstream media, they wouldn't even acknowledge it was an assassination attempt. 
but I wanted to get more on the meat and potatoes of what actually happened. So we're going to start the video where Mark starts going over the facts of what did happen that day. Numerous attendees at the event saw the gunman on the roof. Not just saw somebody on the roof. Not just saw somebody suspicious on the roof. They saw somebody and they saw that that person had a gun and they were trying to alert the police. Exactly. Secret service about it. Look, they're all pointing. Look, they're all pointing. Yeah, don't see them. Yes, look. Look, they had video. They showed the son of a bitch on crawling on the roof. What's happening? Imagine, this is only like 150 yards from Trump. And they don't cover the roof. Look at that. I bet that boy in the... Look, you see him there, the little bastard. It sure he can even hear them yelling. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't stop the bastard. ...who decided to climb up onto the roof to try to get a bird's eye view of the event. That is something extremely suspicious. Yes. There's another video showing these two people who appear to see something suspicious and start running. And then there's a guy in red here who appears to be a photographer getting photos, but probably sees the gun and is running for shelter. There's a cop walking over there. Do you hear the shots? We noticed the guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. <coughs> so we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there. They, 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 what? What are you talking about? There's a guy on the roof with a rifle. And the police are like, huh, what? You know, I like, know, well. Like, they didn't know what was going on. You know, we're like, hey, right here on the roof. We can see him. You right believe here. these we people. He, you know, he's, he's crawling. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at him for... You know, Come on, this whole thing was a setup. Looking at us from the top of the barn, I'm pointing at that roof, just standing there like this, and next thing you know, five shots ring out. There's a lot of discussion around this guy. Because Actually, there were eight. The I heard scope, them in the, in the video. They didn't fire until after the shooter shot first. And so there are rumors that he wasn't authorized to shoot, that he was waiting for the authorization. Yes. There was a stand-down order. The Secret Service issued a statement saying that they don't need authorization to shoot, so in his defense, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt for now. He probably didn't actually see the gun. He probably saw because of the slope of the roof. Saw somebody crawling possibly, or possibly. Saw the top of somebody's head over there. They should have banned everybody Stoked except law enforcement sure. from those roofs. Didn't want to shoot just in case it was a photographer up there. The person who really is responsible for this, other than the media inciting this lunatic and the Democrat Party for trying to paint Donald Trump as Hitler is whoever was in charge of security at that event because once there was a suspicious person on top of a roof then donald trump should have been immediately pulled absolutely the until the area was secure there's a lot of disinformation and a lot of misinformation going around about this event. there has been like the morons who are spreading an obvious troll post from one of the chans claiming to be from that officer and that he was given a stand down order for at least three minutes if this was him, he would have posted that. Well, yes, that's true. But the other thing, too, which this video, subsequent to this video being put out, was that uh, that uh, that lady, that cheaty Cheetos lady, I call her the Cheetos lady because she worked at the Pepsi company uh, as head of security before Jill Biden talked old, old sloppy Joe into uh, appointing her as the head of the Secret Service and all she's been hopping on is, well, we have to have the, the, the you know, the, uh, diver, the, what is that, uh, uh, diver, what is that, D-E-I, diversity, equity, and inclusion. So, 
you know, instead of having, say, a bunch of six foot four big muscular guys guarding Trump, they have uh, these three short women, which uh, uh, I'm sure you've all you all have seen those videos. These little, and that one was like a little fat pudgy Barney Fife. She couldn't even holster her gun properly, and um, wearing the sunglasses and. I mean, they all look like the sort of people, the gals you'd see running the metal detector down at, the, you know, uh, uh, at some uh, private building, you know, a grubby looking Navy uh, sport coat and uh, white shirt and really amateurville, amateurville. And it also came out subsequent to Mark's video that these lot of them weren't even Secret Service agents, that they had brought in some of the... Uh, Department of Homeland Security agents and uh, you know they didn't cover the buildings I mean all this stuff uh, I my opinion it was a, it was a setup it was an ambush just like Dealey Plaza except uh, Trump turned his head like you know I don't have a fancy video showing you know uh, you know graphics but what happened was and I used my Joe Biden head here uh, okay they I think the shooter was aiming right there and then Trump looks at his board comes over and by the and right when he the, the shooter had Trump right square in his sights uh, Trump turned his head to look at his his uh, board that had the uh, uh, immig illegal immigration figures and then right after he pulled the trigger, the bullet, by the time it got to Trump, n hit him in the ear. And then Trump, of course, went down. Uh, you know, that's sort of my caveman, uh, old man sitting in the old manor house type illustration. I'm not one of them fancy graphic type fellas to uh, give you a, a dazzling display of that. Uh, but well, let's continue on with, uh, with uh, Mark's video here on his Facebook page, or on his Instagram account, or on Twitter. He wouldn't have posted it on one of the anonymous Chan boards, claiming that it was him. Yes, there's the been all water. kinds of and talk. To surprise, this is the fat, most likely lesbian, that old Joe appointed to be the head of the Secret yes. Service, whose primary goal was not protecting yes. presidents and presidential candidates, but increasing diversity in the Secret Service. So I think this agency does an She's not a job not an attractive gal. Uh, at a very early stage, we hire uh, agents and officers, and we put them in positions of authority, and we. Give and them she them won't resign. Decisions. She still won't resign. Uh, some great quality leaders. Trump has to fire her ass. And I look forward to a day where we're able to talk about this agency and look at these two rum dumbs. And not have to. And you know what? She should have never had that job. Or the fifth or the sixth, and, and that diversity is just part of this agency, and and it's it's not even thought about. She literally made it her goal to make the Secret Service comprised of at least thirty. And made it women. shitty. This is one of their recruiting posters. Women at the Secret Service. Women working as special agents, uniform division officers, and administrative. I can tell you this, you know, I'm not. I, I certainly don't have the number of security people that the president or former president of the United States would have. But you know, I have a few. Uh, I have a few trusted uh, servants here at the manor house, and I'm not going to expect, you know, a little chambermaid to guard the old colonel. I want big strapping fellas. That can handle themselves, and uh, you know, I think uh, actually going back a little bit, I I think the old crew Elvis had down there as Memphis Mafia would have done a better job than the than these rum dumb goofballs that uh, that the uh, Joe Biden administration foisted on Trump. Uh, Trump, I said for a long time, I said Trump should have his own private security head because. Everybody knew they were going to try an assassination attempt. They've done everything to that poor boy. They've sued him. They've prosecuted him in criminal court. They've done everything to try to, to you know, uh, make this boy's reputation. They've, they've tried to bankrupt him. They've tried to throw him in jail. Uh, they tried to make him look bad, like, oh, you were just civil judgment, saying he raped this nutty gal he probably never even met, or if he did, it was just 
in a, in a in a reception line. He never had nothing to do with her, and uh, and then you know all this crazy bullshit uh, felony charges out of made up uh, crimes that they cooked up. I mean, you know, I knew this was coming when all that fa failed. What's the next step? Of course, they're going to make a run at the boy. You know, I wish the boy would call me here on the red phone. I would have told him all this. He could have avoided all these problems. But uh, I thought honestly that he, you know, I, I, he was too trusting of the Secret Service. He uh, he should have figured they were going to, because I think they were in on it. I don't care what anybody says, you know. They, they could say, well, you know, I'm just an incompetent idiot. But it's more than that. They appointed a bunch of incompetent idiots, and come on, they don't cover the roof of a of a building that's like 150, 160 yards from where he's speaking. And then you saw the video, a kid's crawling on the roof with a rifle. It's just, come on, they let that happen. It's sort of like, you know, you uh, like that catch the predator thing. They say, oh yes, they entice these uh, pedophiles that come over to a certain address and then they leave the door open and they walk right in like you know like the roach motel and that's exactly i think what this was they left the door open and they you know they was the media they were inciting he's some sort of hitler type fella and in the secret service and all those agencies the alphabet agencies they I think they groomed the kid. I think they gave him some money. I'm hearing there was three offshore accounts. Uh, then we're hearing, and you've seen the videos, I'm sure, there was a, you know, a second shooter, a third shooter, saying, you know, I love, I'm going to do one on that. They showed a water tower. They show another window of a building behind that kid, saying that there was another shooter behind him. And if you listen to the acoustics, you can tell there's at least two different guns there i mean three there's three rounds you hear boom 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 and then you hear real quick after that you hear five more and then i think you hear finally a shot where they finally put one between that kid's eyes or whatever they blew the top of his head off and you don't hear anymore and uh i just feel there was at least another shooter but i, I i'll let mark continue here professional and technical personnel at the secret service Fulfill our agency's public safety and security mission with integrity and strength. Secret Service prioritizes recruiting women candidates. And here's one of those candidates. Yes, here's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at that fat little goof. That's the that's Special Agent Fupa. She's fat. She's short. Uh, there's just no redeeming quality about that gal and yet she's like now the poster gal I mean you think if they're all going to hire themselves some women they'd get themselves some glamorous uh, Charlie Angel type you know uh, women you know beautiful uh, smart and witty and very athletic and you know I wouldn't put them on as perhaps his, you know, bodyguards who jump on top of the dog pile. Now, this guy's doing his job, and this guy's doing his job. That guy's doing his job. Look at her, you know. And then when they walk her up, when they walk him off, they have her out front, and she can't, she can't, she's coming up to, like, his belt buckle. I mean, Trump's belt buckle. It's a joke. It's a joke. But and, and then she's there hiding like that. Yeah, that's crazy. But anyway, let me adjust. I kind of adjusted this camera. Anyway, yes, that's a shot of this gal hiding behind Trump and the the real agents who are doing the real work. Because you can bet she's part of the diversity, equity, and, and, and inclusion type thing. Where there should be a real uh, a tough guy there. But again, back to the Charlie Angels thing, I would have them as perhaps witty undercover agents that are milling around in the crowd trying to gather information about potential plots, shooters, or what have you, instead of some fat, dumpy gal who should be running, you know, a metal detector uh, x-ray machine down at the local nursing home. But anyway, I, 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 I'm going to let the video continue. Behind the other agents who were putting their life on the line to protect Donald Trump's life. 
This meme illustrates perfectly yes, look at that. what happened. It's Secret true. Service before DEI and after it's done. Let's see if we can find something a little uh, shorter video shows the actual shooting here. We'll kind of do a little analysis. Here's one. This is NBC. They're not the... They're very left wing, but may we can get some footage and I'll show you what I'm talking about here, boy. At 6.02 p.m., former President Trump walked on the stage. Thousands were there to see him speak. They would witness the first assassination attempt of a president in more than 40 years. Look at that. He was immediately surrounded by Secret Service, his ear bloodied. By 6.13 p.m., he was rushed off the stage. I got you, sir. I got you. Let me get my shoes. Hold on your head. Oh, that's... Yeah, analyze it. Yeah, someone's on top of the roof. Look. There he is right there. In a video posted to TikTok, rally goers noticed the shooter at least two minutes before shots were fired. Exactly. By identifying features of the building and matching the location of the tree in the video, we can tell that this was filmed about 200 feet from the shooter. Look at that. The right on the roof. The rooftop of a nearby glass and Look how close. 450 feet That's not a setup. In that same video, one officer appears to be walking along the building, another standing nearby. All of this happening as Trump addresses the crowd. Other attendees also spotted the gunman. We noticed the guy bear crawling up the roof. Yeah, we covered that. The building. We could clearly see him with a rifle. We were telling the police. We were pointing at him for the Secret Service. Earlier, the would-be assassin was seen behaving suspiciously near the metal detectors at the entrance to the event. In this video, a man who appears to be the shooter was filmed watching the rally near the building he was... Look at that. He's walking right in front of the According building. According to a senator briefed by Secret Service, there was a report of a suspicious person an hour before the shooting. The Secret Service alerted snipers nine minutes before Trump took the stage. This is a big crowd. A local official says that he pulled his head up over the roof where he saw the shooter who pointed his rifle at the officer. Look at One that. The officers actually boosted the... Oh, so he says. ...high enough for him to grab hold of the roof. When he was able to pull his head up over the roof, he did in fact see an individual with a weapon. He saw the shooter? He did. And what did the shooter do? Turned towards him, his weapon pointed at the officer. He says the officer ducked his... But look at that. That is absolutely ridiculous. They wouldn't cover that. You know, you, you got to be a complete idiot not to cover that roof, those buildings, right on the side, clear shot at Trump. Uh, I, there's, I, there's no doubt in my mind, this was an inside job. ...his head and fell eight feet to the ground and radioed for help. Law enforcement tells NBC News that there are multiple counter-sniper teams at the rally handling security. Video captures one team about 150 feet northeast of Trump. Yes, I saw that. Something just before the first shot is heard. At 6.11 p.m., Trump turns his head to reference a chart on stage. If you uh, want to really see... Look at that. Moments later, Take popping sounds erupt. Look at that. Look at this. There is clear shot right there, Trump. They had the counter counter uh, snipers and then I've seen videos there's a water tire that's like over here and they're speculating whether that there was somebody on that tire then there's other theories that there was another what they call a rogue uh, government sniper team that was here also shooting at Trump this is all speculation but nonetheless they let that kid up on that roof the roof, no, but there should have been people assigned on those rooftops with patrols underneath. I mean, they could have, if they were short on actual federal agents, they could have put, you know, a couple federal guys on the roofs and then had some locals or at the very least, you know, have state police. Uh, and then the locals, as a ra last resort, the local police patrol down there. Um, this definitely was a setup. Think about it like Dealey Plaza, they had the grassy knoll and there's speculation there was a, a sniper who was, it was in another building besides this Lee Harvey Oswald, or at least somebody who was in the building Lee Harvey Oswald was in. Um, there, In that particular instance, they were saying it was actually uh, a henchman of uh, LBJ who was the trigger man that was in the book depository. But that's, that's another story. We're dealing with the Trump situation here. So, 
Yeah, they said that there was a, you know, you see another video, there's a water tire there, and then another shooter there, and who knows, maybe some other ones. I don't know. But I do know that if you listen to the audio, you'll see, you hear three shots that sounded consistent. They were coming from the direction of where this boy was. Then you hear five other shots. They sounded like, I don't know, a different caliber, maybe another, another distance. So I think that, to me, shows that I think there was another shooter there. But anyway, we'll continue the video here. See, do you hear those five? Nine shots are heard over 16 seconds. Yes. Ending with one person killed, that the poor fella. wounded, and two rally goers seriously injured. The gunman dead on the rooftop. There were three sets of bleachers behind Trump. This man was in the bleachers over Trump's right shoulder. I was in the set of bleachers the very far left of the podium. I heard several gunshots. Um, the man beside me suffered a gunshot wound to the head, um, was instantly killed, fell to the bottom of the bleachers. 50-year-old firefighter Corey that Gavera, poor fella. a father of two daughters, was directly in the line of fire between the rooftop That's and the That's terrible. Podium. He was killed shielding his family. David Dutch, a 57-year-old Marine veteran, was seated in the bleachers on the opposite side of the grandstand. He was also hit by gunfire. 74-year-old James Copenhaver, seated in the same area, was also shot. Terrible. The hospital says both are in serious condition. Yes, and that should have never happened. The FBI is now leading the investigation into the assassination attempt and yeah. security. At I wouldn't hold my breath with the FBI. Yes, anyway. So that gives you, you know, some footage. Stay that gives you some, you know, video here. Get that ad off. So that gives you some idea of, you know, uh, the footage and a chart of exactly what allegedly occurred there. But, um, yes, Trump has to be very careful. Now, right before I started filming this here video, uh, it was announced that Joe Biden had actually announced he was not going to run for re-election, and now there's going to be a scramble. And it's very interesting that uh, a week after uh, the failed assassination attempt that the Bidens have decided to uh, make a deal with the Democrat Party and uh, and uh, uh, not seek re-election. Of course, you know, he's going to be stealing as much money as he can, allegedly, before he leaves. And, and then he'll pardon Hunter and his brother and who knows else, you know, uh, of his their wrongdoings. And... Uh, and uh, uh, it's just, it's amazing the, the the terrible things that have gone on. And I knew they would pull out the assassination card. But anyway, I'm glad you all stopped by to visit the old colonel and kind of go over a few of these things. And, uh, you know, uh, I had met Donald Trump way back in the day. I met him in the early 1980s. All right, my battery just came out, so I had to go and get get the batteries for the camera. Uh, but I was saying um, before I sign off, I actually met Donald Trump and his wife Ivana back in the early 1980s. It was in Atlantic City. I was staying at the uh, Taj Mahal, and um, you know he uh, they were very good to us, uh, so-called uh, big uh, big uh, money players and. Uh, so I met them then, and um, I, I thought he was a very, very charming, smart, uh, very personal fella, and uh, uh, that's the only contact I ever had with the boy, but I always did like him through the years. I lost my screen there. I always thought he was an all right fella, a businessman, and um, I wish, you know, if he wants to, he can give me a call any time here on my red telephone. Uh, we know some of the same people, so they give them the number. Be very glad to advise the boy. I talk to all my my good friends uh, on the on the red telephone. So, if you ever need any advice, boy, I'm here. I'm here. I'll be glad to give it to you. But anyway, that's my talk, and I'm sure that there'll be new information, and perhaps I'll do some other videos on this here assassination attempt. It's New details will come out. This is the biggest since, honestly, since the JFK thing. It it would have changed history, and 
I'm very glad the boy survived, I can tell you. I'm very glad. But I'm going to sign off now here, boy. This is Colonel Braxton Beauregard Berlicue the Fifth, adventurer, treasure hunter, swashbuckler extraordinaire. Signing off. Goodbye, y'all.